Welcome. In this video, I'll be describing how to install Prim Composer for 3DS Max, a complete offline builder for Second Life and OpenSim. First, we want to open Explorer and Google Prim Composer. The first link that we see is the Prim Composer homepage at liferain.com. Click that. Now we're on the home page. <coughs> There's several useful links here, um, documentation and support, and here's the link to the download page. I'll briefly just look in documentation and support to show, make sure you're familiar with some of the things that are here. We have a link to the uh, home page, the download page, installation instructions, user guide, some reference documentation, the video tutorials, which you've probably already seen. Uh, then we have uh, links to uh, some of the support tracking, uh, known issues, bugs, wish list. Uh, here you can see a list of features that uh, are have been suggested that might be in future releases. Known issues are problems that are known and possibly workarounds for those. Uh, we also have links to the future releases so that you can see uh, what releases are planned. And finally, a uh, link to the Prim Composer support forums, which are an invaluable resource. Uh, the community has really stepped up and are helping each other uh, a lot uh, as people post their experiences and problems. And uh, there's a real dialogue going on there now. I, I really appreciate everyone appreciate everyone who's been involved and if you need help this is a great place to to get it. Uh, these forums are the only places that uh, I regularly monitor so if you do have a question that you'd like uh, to come to my attention this is the place to do it. Now we'll go to the download page and begin the installation. We have the big download link here. Also I'd like to just point out that on the download page there's also a full version history showing uh, every version of Prim Composer when it was released. Uh, in many cases an annou blog announcement describing the features in that release and then the, the track milestone and also a list of uh, bug fixes and features here. We'll click on the download link to download the zip file and we'll save it and I'd, I like typically like to save it in a special directory so I'll create a directory for this purpose I'll call it uh, tools and then inside of that I'll create another directory called zip which is where I'll store all of my Prim Composer uh, zip file so that if I need to back off to a previous version I have all the zip files here. Now I'll open that folder. We see the zip file. This is the, the main zip file, Prim Composer, then the version number dot zip. If we look inside that we have three folders here and in terms of installing Prim Composer into 3DS Max, the Prim Composer folder is the one that we want. So now let's browse to the 3DS Max uh, Program Files folder. We'll look on Drive C in Program Files and then in Autodesk and then 3DS Max then we'll go down to standard plugs and finally standard scripts and this is where we want to copy the prim composer folder that comes with 3ds uh, with uh, that comes with prim composer so we'll just copy this ah, into standard scripts That's it. We've we've installed Prem Composer now. So if we restart 3ds Max, you 
now we'll have a couple of new menus. On the top, we have a new Prim Composer menu with Export, Import, Sculpt Gen Max, Preferences, and About. Clicking About shows us the splash screen for Prim Composer. We also have under the Create panel a new download, a new uh, sub uh, menu here, Prim Composer, which has boxes for creating all the different Prim types within Second Life. 